Okay guys, today we are going to be taking another look at XRP. We're going to start here on the daily chart where we're going to start taking a look and see what's going on with XRP. So obviously we can see that we have had a bit of a pullback today. This is gaining is in line with what Bitcoin has been up to. Um, so as Bitcoin has had a pullback, uh, just jump over to this one quickly, we can see that our expectations were that Bitcoin was going to pull down. Um, and as a result, many of these altcoins are also pulling down with it. Now, the expectations this is going to bottom out soon, and then we'll start to see a rise, a steady rise up towards 40k for Bitcoin. So when we take a look at XRP, although we're having a pullback now, the expectations are that we are going to be fast approaching that 75.5 cent um, resistance line just up here. Well, I think this is actually going to get broken and we're more than likely going to push through this and turn this into a support line so that we can start to battle some of those higher areas here with XRP. Now, other things that we just want to kind of point out whilst we take a look at this um, daily chart here is we bring those volumes in. We can see that the volumes were decreasing on the way down. Uh, sorry, the volumes were decreasing whilst the price was moving up. Okay, so this again was showing you that sentiment in the market again, aligned to that generalized fear and greed index with extreme fear. So again, we're seeing that represented here in terms of our volumes moving to the downside and of course, our price moving up. And again, the AI is also saying the same thing with a C3 rating for XRP here. For um, It's basically saying there is a lot of fear in the market here for XRP. Now, obviously, there's lots of fundamental stuff going on at the moment with the SEC lawsuit um, and some fantastic things that could be on the horizon there. So I think a lot of this sentiment is going to shift and change uh, in due course. We're going to start seeing a bit of a reversal on this particular pattern that's forming here. We're going to be pushing up towards this resistance line of 75.5 and turn that into support. And I think at that point, we're going to start seeing that shift in sentiment as well start to increase. Now, the other thing that we can do is I'll just turn off our volume here. We can see that register strength index is really low on this daily chart. At 36 is almost oversold. So it's going to have a huge amount of swing to the upside as we start to approach some significant values for Bitcoin. XRP is likely to start going on up here as well. There will be a small pullback where I think we'll ultimately test this area of 75.5 before potentially going up to that key area of resistance up at $1.07. So for XRP, everything on this daily chart, it's definitely looking interesting. And I think we're going to start seeing some significant rise here, breaching this 75.5. Now, obviously we do have the, our target zone here. This is an area um, that we need to get a close candle above. And again, this is something that we're going to see uh, potentially taking a little bit of time to kind of work its way through. Um, but once we are past this area, it's going to be signaling us into ultimately what is going to be the fifth wave um, for many of these cryptocurrencies. Now, what we're going to do is just jump down into our hourly view here. And I'll quickly just zoom out, guys, so you can kind of see that Fibonacci retracement tool. It obviously goes from that high area here to the recent low that we've achieved. And again, our expectations are that major target of $2.87 is the target for the first um, you know, target for, for basically XRP here at the 1.618 area, the Fibonacci uh, extension level. So um, when we take a look at that from a zoomed out point of view, we've obviously got quite a bit of work ahead of ourselves to make sure that we get up here. Now, if we zoom on in, what we can do is just take a look at some of that most recent price action here for XRP. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see what is going on. Obviously, we bottomed out down the bottom here. Just make sure we get that Fibonacci on the right spot. And we'll see we've had a bit of a pullback. Now, if I bring up that volume again, here you can see that the volumes actually were reasonably high here as we were pushing the price up, but it was a decrease in volume. So that sentiment as the price was moving up was very much aligned to the fear that we're seeing in the space. We can see there's little pockets of buying pressure here as well. But again, it decreased pretty quickly. Um, and again, right now, well, we're moving the price to the downside so rapidly. And again, this is just because of Bitcoin's correction recently. Uh, after a significant run yesterday, we were saying that we were expecting a pullback today. And, and again, what you're seeing here is there's actually a decrease in volume, which is interesting, and then a little bit of buy in volume now. So what you're coming down to is a key area of support um, around here. Uh, and ultimately, we're getting a bit of a reversal. Now, we're also really low on our relative strength index, which is indicating that we are likely to get a reversal now and moving on up out of this area. So as the point of this video going out, this has probably already had a bit of significant motion to the upside, I would have thought. And we'll get a bit of ground here on that relative strength index. So at 36, there's not too much further to go into the oversold status before we do get a significant pump to the upside. And my expectations, guys, are that we'll eventually be slowly moving our way up towards this key area of 75.5 cent. It's going to be probably a weekend event to kind of get up there. It's not going to be a a straight up candle, for example. I think ultimately what we're going to start seeing is a slow motion to the upside as Bitcoin slowly moves its way 
um, up from those kind of low areas of 32 to 33k up towards that 40k level next week and i think that's where we'll start to see significant rise here with xrp as well now again i think ultimately if we just remove that uh that volume um from the chart here because we don't need that on there anymore and um, it's always important that we know not only just what is happening on the shorter time frames but also what is happening on the larger time frames as well so we'll shoot on out here into our weekly view and obviously from a weekly perspective you can see significant price rallies uh, and where things have been going we can obviously see that where we were during the crash of march 2020 we can obviously see jay clayton's gift at christmas uh, with xrp lawsuit and uh, ultimately or uh, the ripple lawsuit dragging XRP's value down here. And obviously with recent price action in wave three, pulling down very, very low here for XRP right now. Now, obviously with XRP being as low as it has gone, um, it's a very, very volatile cryptocurrency. There's lots going on, uh, lawsuits with the SEC, uh, and obviously exchanges delisting XRP and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna make this one a little bit more difficult to analyze than many of the others in the space. That being said, there are, uh, although there's a lack of patterns that form on the bigger timescales, the micro or the hourly views they give you a bit of an insight as to what to expect on those shorter time frames as well so what reason that we'd like to zoom out here is we'd like to get a big urban idea as to that bigger picture where xrp is likely to go um you know during this uh this bull run regardless of uh, you know lawsuits and things like that now ultimately i do think that once that lawsuit finishes we're going to see a significant price um expectation here for xrp obviously we have uh, basically 15 dollars 89 kind of scoped out according to the fibonacci uh, retracement tool from the all-time high area of three dollars eighty-three um, through to the low of March. That kind of gives us a bit of an expectation to be heading towards that fifteen dollars eighty-nine. For me personally, I like to always target between the three point six one eight and the two point six one eight. This kind of gives you some nice little ballpark figure around that ten dollar, ten dollars to around uh, thirteen dollars fifty. So a pretty reasonable expectation for XRP. Now, obviously, when we take a look at this on the daily chart and we zoom out again, we can see how volatile it has been. We can see lots of different things and lots of different catalysts for change here for XRP, but the expectations still remain the same. Ultimately, um, you know, win, lose, draw, settle, it generally doesn't matter. Um, we've seen this time and time again. Um, basically, the market will flourish after the lawsuit gets closed. And it does sound like there's a lot going on around that, um, you know, that particular lawsuit. And again, some interesting stuff that will be coming to light soon. So when we take a look at this on the daily chart, and it uh, sometimes can be a little bit doom and gloom when we're seeing things trending down, ultimately, we are going to be getting a reversal really, really soon. Um, and that's going to be courtesy of Bitcoin. But again, when we take a look at Bitcoin, there are expectations here that we obviously have to consider. We'll be moving up to 40K. There will be a pullback. We'll move up to about 41K. And then there'll be a significant pullback. Um, and during this pattern, the expectations will be to uh, basically dollar cost average better positions, hodl your way through many of these altcoins, including XRP, until you get to this sign of strength up here. This is where Bitcoin will then go on an absolute tear. And again, we know what happens previously in previous bull runs when after, well, after Bitcoin has had its kind of go at things, we do see significant rallies for many of these altcoins. XRP will be no exception to that. And my expectations are that XRP will have a phenomenal run. Um, you know, minimum kind of price level expectations are $10 for Bitcoin, uh, sorry, for XRP. And I do think that uh, XRP has the potential to go on significantly higher than even that. So again, guys, hopefully you found this useful. It's a brief update on what my expectations are with XRP uh, in the, the coming kind of uh, 24 to 40 hours. If you found it useful, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with those new cryptocurrencies, the hidden gems, technical analysis, then do go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell, tap on all, and you won't miss a single video. With that said, done and out of the way, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next one.